The world is becoming increasingly more and more aware of the quote-unquote Mandela effect. I won't bore you with the history behind that. If you're not aware, just look it up on YouTube. There are thousands of people making videos about it all over the internet. I have been aware of this effect for a little while now, and I do believe that there is something playing with the past and manipulating the future. Well, our future, anyway. An outside source has figured out how to change things, just slightly, so as to show us the reality of our existence. Now here's my thoughts on the whole thing. And remember, these are my thoughts, my opinions, my views on what I think might be happening. And please, don't get me wrong when I say what I'm about to say. I truly believe that God is real, and we are all sent here for a purpose. And I believe my purpose is to share my thoughts and maybe open a few people's eyes to what I consider to be truth. Have you ever heard of the game SimCity? There are several variations of this game, and I recall playing uh, SimCity 3000 version when I was a kid. Uh, many hours of my childhood were spent constructing different cities and building them up to great statuses and watching them as they evolved. There was a feature on there that allowed you to speed up the time ratio and oftentimes I'd switch it to the highest speed allowed. I found it fascinating to see where my city would go. Sometimes it would crumble, but sometimes it would evolve for many, many years. I was captivated with the concept of being able to watch it, watch it take place. I would oftentimes get bored of the way things were going and decided to unleash natural disasters on my creation be it floods or fires, earthquakes, tornadoes, or even the occasional Godzilla attack. I found this a great way to turn things around, especially when things were starting to fall apart and I saw it fit to destroy rather than create and then correct the problem. Sometimes that was just the easiest way out, not to mention it was pretty fun too. Besides, it wasn't real, right? When I have to take a step back and look at this reality. In a lot of ways, this world that we live in, <clears throat> this world that we live in is like that of SimCity. Maybe this is a future version of that game called Sim Earth, maybe? Now think about what I just said. This world could very well be a simulation, a, a game created by a future computer that works on an entirely different level than the binary code we've created. A computer so advanced that it can calculate billions of different computations at the same time. Well, recently, we have created such a computer, the D-Wave computer. If you haven't heard of that, look it up on YouTube as well. A lot of great videos about that. Um, with every passing day, the D-Wave is getting faster and faster. And it works on a quantum level that is incomprehensible to me. Um, this is to say, pretty much, look at the binary code. You have ones and zeros, meaning on and off. Well, quantum computers, ones and zeros, and ones or zeros could be on, off, or it could be on and off at the same time, you know, thus creating uh, craziness. Anyway, what if we were just a video game inside a D-Wave computer, and some 11-year-old boy was playing the game, decided that he had enough? The world he had created and watched grow is now falling apart. And from his point of view, as was mine with SimCity, in such disrepair that he feels it would be easier to destroy it and start over than it would be to fix it. So, earthquakes, floods, fires, 
They're all taking place right now at this very moment on this planet. Destruction on a level I have never before witnessed, and I'm sure most of you haven't either. What if this was simply a game and we're about to be reset? Wouldn't it make sense that we start seeing the glitches of the construct? The game was designed by a great and mighty being, but what if millions of versions of the game were made and sold to the public? What if millions of people were playing this game and it was being controlled via the internet? Wouldn't it make sense that occasionally a glitch would be created within a few of the copies of the games, thus creating slightly different versions of the game, which are now conflicting with each other? I know, it's a whole lot of what-ifs, but it is really hard... But is it really hard to imagine? So, so many of us now are addicted to this game. And maybe this itself is a video game. Maybe we're about to encounter a reboot. Maybe. Just maybe.